Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make stabilized speed ramps in After Effects. To make this tutorial a bit different from the others on the channel, I will use a different type of curve on each clip. Let's begin. Right click on the clip, go to time, and select enable time remapping. By moving the time remap forward, I'll set the beginning of the speed ramp. Now let's scroll forward, let's pretend here is a music beat drop and then move the time ahead or back to set the end of the speed ramp. Once you're satisfied with the speed ramp, trim and delete the rest of the clip. Now select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them, then go to the graph editor, right click anywhere in the graph area and select edit value graph and let's create a smooth curve. This curve will make your video speed up at the beginning, slow down in the middle, and speed up again at the end. Close the graph editor, and then let's enable time remapping on another clip, and this time I'll create a reverse speed ramp. Also to keep your video flowing smoothly, make sure all clips move in the same direction. For example, if the first clip moves from left to right, the next one should follow the same direction. This helps maintain a consistent flow and makes your speed ramps look smoother and more professional. Let's repeat the same steps. Change the time remap until you're happy with the beginning of the speed ramp. Once you're satisfied with the beginning, scroll forward and set the ending of the speed ramp. Now trim and delete the rest of the clip. As I mentioned earlier, for this clip I'm going to create a reversed speed ramp. To do that, move the second keyframe to the middle of the clip, then copy the first keyframe and paste it at the end. Now select all three keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard, then go to the graph editor and create a smooth curve like mine. For the last clip, I'll create a double reverse speed ramp. But first let's enable time remapping and set the beginning and ending just like we did with the previous clips. To create a double reverse speed ramp, you'll need four keyframes. First let's drag the second keyframe close to the first one like this. Then copy the first keyframe and paste it near the end of the clip. After that copy the second keyframe and paste it at the very end of the clip. You can also adjust the keyframes to make sure they're properly placed and synced with the beat drops of the song. And once you are satisfied, select all four keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard, then go to graph editor and make a curve like mine. We can now check the speed ramped clips and see what we've got, then I'll stabilize all of them. Everything looks good, so now let's stabilize the clips to make them look even better. But first, let's enable frame blending on all the clips. To stabilize, I'll show you the smoothest method and how pro editors stabilize their footage. Let's pre-compose the clip. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Pre-compose the clip one more time. Now double click on the pre-composed layer to go inside. Under the tracker panel, click on track camera and wait until the analysis is complete. Once it's done, select some points on the part of the car you want to stabilize and lock on. In my case, it's the left tail light. Now right click and select create solid and camera. Then select the track solid layer and correct the rotation. Now press S on your keyboard and set the scale to 3 to make the solid smaller like this. Let's zoom in and make sure the solid is properly positioned on the part you want to stabilize. Once you're satisfied with it, toggle off the clip so only the track solid is visible on the screen. Now select all the layers and pre-compose them. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Now click on stabilize motion. Make the track point slightly larger and move it onto the solid. Then click on options. Select RGB. Check Adapt feature on every frame, and hit OK. Click on Analyze Forward and let's wait until it's done. Once analyzing is done, click Apply, and then hit OK. Close the tracking window, then double-click on the pre-composed layer. Toggle off the track solid layer and toggle on your clip. You can now close the pre-composed tab and then check the stabilization. Everything looks smooth and perfectly stabilized. Now, let's center the tail light and fix those black edges. Enable the proportional grid from here, it will help us find the very center of the screen. Now simply drag your clip until the car part is centered. I'll also scale the video to fix the black edges, then adjust the clip again until the tail light is perfectly centered on the screen. Let's check it out. It looks so smooth and the stabilization is complete. Now we can go back to the main composition and repeat the same stabilization steps on the other clips. I'll skip this part since you already know how to do it. So this is what it looks like after stabilizing all the clips.
looks awesome. For smoother stabilized speed ramps, we should also apply motion blur and it's very important. You can use either a paid or a free option. The free ones are CC Force Motion Blur and Pixel Motion Blur, both work well, but I prefer the paid option, RSMB Pro. I'll set the values to the ones I use all the time. If you're using RSMB Pro, feel free to copy my settings. Let me show you the difference before and after applying motion blur. Here's the clip before, and this is how it looks after. Motion blur makes the video look way better, like 90% better. The final thing left is the shakes. The speed ramp's not really a speed ramp if you don't use shake effects. I'll apply them from the AM Film Shakes Pack. In case you don't know how to make shake effects, check out the shake tutorials on the channel. You can also get my shake presets from the link in the description. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.